Hey guys, welcome back. On my way home from my parents' house in Indy all the way to, to Illinois. Figure I'd do a couple rants. So, today is kind of a fun one. Today I'm going to talk about like festivals and uh, like uh, craft fair things and shit like that and the amount of, of fucking dumb people that attend those things that don't understand the concept of don't touch someone. If you're going to walk in front of someone, say, excuse me. So, you know what? I'm already getting into it and I shouldn't yet. So let me just say before we get going, uh, like, subscribe, hit that little bell at the bottom, follow us on Instagram, on Facebook. If you're looking to, for a way to, to support the DK shenanigans that we have here, and I guess I said shenanigans because we have a lot of shenanigans, you know, if you would go, go donate on Patreon, just just do it. It's it's a dollar. It's five dollars. It's ten dollars. Just do. Just donate a thousand dollars a month. Thousand dollars a month. Tanner will send you pictures of dick. It's it's just it's it's the way it's gonna be. Anyway, guys. So uh, let's talk about let's talk about the fuckery that is like big festivals. So we have a thing. We have a, a thing in Indy called the Covered Bridge Festival. And it takes place uh, around, obviously, a covered bridge, which is pretty cool. It's 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 neat looking. You get to walk across it and all that shit. And there's a little creek that runs underneath it and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so they have a bunch of really cool crafts and shit. It's a place where, where you know, really talented people can showcase some of their, their amazing artwork. That'd be like metal art, wood art, stuff like that. There's some fun stuff because there's like a military supply one which has a lot of military medical supplies that, you know, if you're, if you're like me and you want to, I don't know, be prepared enough if something were to happen, you know, I, I have a bag right now in the back of the car that has like compression bandages and, and, uh, you know, various, uh, dressings for wounds and, and, uh, you know, bacteria reducing spray and shit like that, that, you know, it's, it's fun to have, but, uh, there's, you know, I just, I need some other things. And if, if I decide that I want to get something from them, then I absolutely will. And the only thing I can do after that is take it to a piercing place, have them run it through an autoclave and put it into a package so that I can, I can keep it, um, I can keep it, um, sanitized. So there's no, uh, outside influence on, uh, any other bacteria or anything like that to cause infection. Now, that's cool enough. They've got a really cool one that sells like, like really nice badass knives. Uh, I got a really nice bench made and a really cool cold steel knife uh, for way cheaper than I should have. Um, the guys didn't really know what they had. They were used knives, but they were still in phenomenal shape. So I ended up getting, I ended up getting that. Um, and then there's a guy that, that sells tactical bags, which are essentially just black bags that have cool, uh, cool pockets and shit on them. Now he had a backpack, he had, uh, a rifle case and he had a duffel bag. Well, I got the duffel bag kind of regretting that hope. I was kind of, I kind of want to get a uh, backpack now. Uh, the duffel bag is good because I can keep extra clothes in it and shit, but anyway, so that's fun stuff. But what sucks about these festivals, and including like music festivals too, like if you're doing like, uh, if you're going to Lala or something like that, you know, the crowds are, the crowds fucking suck. Because you always have people that are, that are going to be touching you in some way. So of course, if you're me, you're going to be paranoid. Did they take my pocket knife? Did they, did they take my billfold? Did they take my gun? What, you know, did they take anything of mine that they shouldn't have? You know, anytime somebody bumps into you. So you have to be super vigilant. Uh, I have a, a wallet that I keep um, in my uh, my front pocket of my uh, of my pants, which is in my jeans that I put in the back because I'm a fucking idiot and I forgot to take it out. I'm gonna have to pull over and get it because I can't drive without my license on me, um, especially with a gun in the back. <laughs> anyway, so. Uh, I don't like it when 
people don't understand the concept of if you're going to get in front of somebody and you're going to you're going to like walk directly in front of them or you're they're looking at something and you literally just get in front of them to grab something that you wanted to look at you could say excuse me or if you don't mind I'm going to squeeze in here real quick grab one of these if you don't mind kind of a thing you know you have to have some sort of decency you can tell some of these fucking people don't even understand the concept of of barn doors like they'll leave shit open that they shouldn't leave shit open and it's it's really fucking annoying because there's I mean they're just they're just dumb people are dumb like there was this one lady that I walked past uh uh, the year before last, because last year I didn't have a chance to go because of my, my new position, but uh, this lady, she, she was talking to one of the, one of the vendors, and this particular vendor happened to be Asian, whatever, you know, everyone has, it's capitalism, everybody has the right to sell, and, you know, everybody has the right to buy, but she's sitting there, and the way that she's talking to her, how much for this? The lady's like, it's five bucks. And she's like, can you come down on it? The lady's like, it's brand new and packaged, ma'am. I'm not going to come down. Like, I mean, you know, obviously I'm not doing her accent, but she understood everything that the lady was saying. The lady didn't have to talk to her like she was some fucking alien from another country or uh, uh, planet. You know, like she understood English. She she spoke it pretty well, actually, better than probably this hick-ass fucking woman was speaking it. I, I don't know. I just... People are dumb. People are stupid. People have issues. The other the other one is, if you're going to get food and you're going to sit down at, like, the big food hall places that they have, you should see some of these human beings in the way that they fucking eat. It is disgusting. We were sitting there one time, and... My, my dad and I went and we got uh, like a, a steak sandwich or a tenderloin or something. I don't remember exactly what it was, but my dad and I went to go get something. My fiance and my mother were already sitting. And like the people that we walked past, there was a guy that had mustard all the way down his shirt. And like you could tell he didn't care because he would just pick up fries and just use the fries to, to sop up the fucking mustard. And it's like, dude, God. You know, yeah, I, I get it. You miss your mouth sometimes, but don't accentuate it. You know what I mean? Like, don't rub it into your shirt. Like, don't... Ugh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't do shit like that. It's fucking gross. People don't need to see that when they're trying to eat. You know, and then some of the vendors are assholes. Some of the vendors, the food vendors, are absolute pricks. I uh, I went up to one to get some, some cheese curds, because I love cheese. And I went up there, and it's it's literally they take uh, they'll take like pepper jack or cheddar or something like that in the big blocks, and they'll just cut it and then chunk it and then batter it and then throw it in the fryer. Well, I went up there one time and I said, "Hey, is there any way that I can get?" You know, I was getting something for Emily, so I got a sausage for her. Uh, uh, it was a Polish or Italian, I don't remember. But I, I said, "Hey, I, I'd, I'd like to get an Italian. Uh, can I get peppers and onions on that?" And the lady said, "Yeah, that's fine." So she goes and she she has she tells the person behind her, the person behind her makes it, she hands it to me, and I said, uh, peppers and onions. And she goes, What about them? Like, real shitty. And I said, Well, there's no peppers and onions on here, and I paid the extra two dollars for peppers and onions, which is highway robbery in the first place. Trust me, food industry, I know what I'm fucking talking about. And so she she goes and she snatches it from me and puts these puts these like watered down fucking like bottom of the fucking pan peppers and onions and I'm like this is not this is not what I signed up for like I the, the ones that are coming off the grill are the ones that I thought I was going to get she's just like well you get what you get and I said alright cool so I went and I took their entire mustard thing and moved it to a completely different stall and used it and I left it because fuck those people that's why anyway guys uh, that's pretty much the rant for the day. Sorry it was so fucked up. And sorry there was so much hatred and everything in there. Yeah, that guy's got a... Weird? 
Guy's got a tactical vest on that looked like a plate carrier. Ah, the country. Anyway, so check out our, our budget booze videos, check out our beer videos, check out our cigar review videos, check out my cooking videos. You know what? Check out the rest of my absolutely just, just tearing into things rants. Also, I have some where I'm not too bad. I like, I'm pretty nice in some of them. But uh, just check it out, guys. Let us know what you think. Comment down below. Comment down below for me. Comment down below for any of the other videos that you watch. We love to know that you're watching them, and we love it when you say hi. So until next time, guys, cheers.